just sharing these examples of songs you may have heard of and just trying to take you back to the genesis of these songs and try to take the mystery out of it. You know, I'm not trying to just, you know, go down the list of all these songs of mine. I'm wanting you to superimpose these little prayer ideas that you have in your journal, in your mind, and, you know, maybe in your computer somewhere. And, you know, just, just try some of these things. I'm just trying to take away the mystery of the process and take these these ideas that you have, these prayerful, authentic ideas, which, which might just be a simple phrase or a two or three line verse, and just carve out some time during the week with your journal, open it up, look through your journal, and worship with it, play with it. Don't start writing a song. Don't put all that pressure on yourself to say, okay, now I gotta write a song. Uh, I better get a good loop going here. and. Uh, I got a good, great sound. Man, forget all that. Just try to keep it in this honest, childlike, imagine David, King David, before he was king, when he was just a shepherd boy, way out. There was nobody around. He's just out there looking up at the stars. And he's saying things like, wow, you know, as the deer pants for the water, so my soul thirsts for thee, God, you know? And, why so downcast, O oh my soul? Put your hope in God. Bless the Lord. He's the lifter of your countenance. You know, bless the Lord. He's the lifter of our heads. You know, these are things that David just prayed. He wasn't sitting there trying to write a song for an album or a CD. It's like that will poison the well, man. That will just begin to interrupt the, the process, in my opinion. Just keep it honest. Keep it childlike. Stay in that frame of mind. And again, imagine David sitting in... Um, uh, in Getty, you know, and overlooking the, the Dead Sea there, and just there he is, tending his sheep and what, but in the meantime, he's just thinking about these prayerful ideas and going, praise the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Man, he forgives my sins, he, re he's, he heals my diseases, he's redeemed my life from the pit, and he's crowned my, you know, he crowns me with love and compassion, and God, you satisfy my desires with good things, and you renew my youth like the eagles, and man, bless the Lord, bless the Lord, you know? So just, just try to keep it in that frame of mind. Amen, amen. Uh, Man, the last thing I want to talk about, just as far as, you know, having our antenna up and gleaning inspiration and drawing inspiration, which is, again, like 95% of our, our role as a songwriter is just to, to pay attention to what's going on around us. And, uh, but the most important thing if we're writing songs for worship is the scriptures. You know, just obviously, like I was just quoting a few minutes ago, David, King David, Psalm 103. Praise the Lord, O oh my soul, and forget not all his benefits, or Psalm 42, or Psalm 20, uh, I forget where, you know, the Lord is my light and my salvation, whom shall I fear? Uh, Psalm 92, um, it is good to praise the Lord and make music to your name, O Most High, to proclaim your love in the morning, your faithfulness at night. So it's just so critical that we get grounded in the scripture and we let the scripture get off of the page and saturate our hearts. I love the scripture in Colossians. It says, let the word of Christ dwell in you richly, and out of that will come psalms and hymns and spiritual songs. So it just, I love, it's sort of like, this is what's gonna happen, especially if you have a, a gifting or a leaning towards writing songs. And it says, as the word of Christ dwells in us and just, just lives in us, not just a cursory reading of the scripture, but just memorizing scripture. I talked about it in another section where I used to just take three by five cards and write scriptures and scotch tape, scotch tape them to my dashboard and just try to memorize scripture and memorize long passages of scripture, especially the Psalms, because the Psalms are the vocabulary of worship. If you think about it, it's like learning French or learning some foreign language. We've got to get the Psalms down in our soul and off the page and in our hearts for worship leading as well as songwriting so that we just in those moments, because we've stored up those scriptures in our hearts, all of a sudden out comes a Psalm, out comes a hymn or a spiritual song. What is it? Psalm 65, 
uh, Glenn Packham and I were just, man, in the nursery at New Life Church. And it was just a Monday morning. And we just said, man, let's just not even try to write a song. Let's just spend some time reading scripture. And he was noodling on the piano. And I was noodling on guitar. Actually, I was on piano. And he was reading scripture. So he's reading Psalm 65. And, and it gets, uh, gets down to about verse 8. And it says, Those living far away fear your wonders. Where morning dawns and evening fades, you call forth songs of joy. And I just remember going, ooh, ooh, ooh. Ah, wait, 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 stop there. Doesn't it, man, that sounds, that sounds, sounds like a song kind of thing. Um, as morning dawns, and I was just kind of noodling in the key of B flat, and I was like, um, as morning dawns and evening fades, Lord, you inspire. Uh, let's see, you bring forth, you inspire songs of praise. Ah, da, 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 and glorify your name. Again, remember, go with the feeling. Don't, don't let a lack of a lyric slow you down and go, Oh, stop. Uh, let's see, what else should we say? Just just go with that. It just felt in the midst as we're just trying to honestly connect with the Lord and just speaking scripture with music, with uh, instruments in our hand, it just kind of flowed out. Um, so we said, oh, let's sing that again. As morning dawns and evening fades, God, you inspire song of praise. That, that rise from earth to touch your heart and glorify your name. And I was like, oh man, it just felt authentic. And literally it was like, um, you can just kind of feel going with the feeling. Where would that want to go naturally? Um, your name. Da -da -da. like no other your name and it was like ah oh. so then we're like getting excited like oh this feels honest um your name and then immediately it makes me think of uh, proverbs 8 it says the name of the lord is a strong tower the righteous run to it and they're saved so it was like ah uh, what if what about um your name is a strong and mighty tower your name is a refuge is a is a rock is a is a shelter. And so again, you're just kind of, but you're staying in that mode, you know? Uh, nothing has the power to save but your name. And man, we're just excited. It was like really like one of those few God moments where when you are writing, you just feel like, wow, this was just like a gift that God just like poured out, you know, literally in the midst of just trying to connect in an honest way. So then it was like, wow, um, now what? Uh, man, that feels honest. That feels right. Uh, let's see, nothing, your name. Let's see, Jesus, uh, Jesus, second verse. Jesus, in your name we pray. Would you come and fill our hearts today? Da, 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 and glorify your name. Again, I'm trying to just... Again, go with the feeling. Don't worry about, oh, we got to stop. Keep going with it. You'll, that, that next line will come later. So we got to a point where it just felt like, okay, we're, now we're button, banging our head against the wall and we're not kind of, feels like the inspiration, the wave is gone. But it's like, man, I love this. Feels inspired. And so we just kind of made a little quick recording of this idea and then later worked with it a little bit more went back and forth with a few more lyric ideas over the telephone and email. And um, I mean, I could go on and on, but just look for those places in scripture, man. It's just awesome to teach truth, to sing truth, get our folks singing truth, singing sound doctrine. That's super important from generation to generation that we're not just singing poetic ideas or flowery thoughts. Man, we, we just, 90% of the time should be just singing biblical, godly truth that comes from this timeless word.
the nation sing. 